here for today is a quick demo. I got a bunch of stuff here. I've been messing around with the Osmo and mounting options. I'm still waiting for my universal mount. This is the one that comes with the Osmo that screws right in here. It's pretty much uh, useless for me because I have the iPhone 6 Plus in the Otter box. It's the only way to go. Made in Fort Collins, Colorado. Let's shut that off. So I like to keep it. It's not going to come out of this case. So some of the times I'll clip it on here. I was able to clip it on the Osmo or the Inspire One controller in order to keep it in this configuration. This morning I was messing around with the Osmo and quick release mounts. I mount it in the mobile so I can do some uh, video blogging of sorts. Uh, while I'm mobile and gosh what do we got here I got several of these little uh, tripod studs they're really neat little items this one's a fatty on one side a small one the small ones what plugs into the Osmo here and then there's lots of other options I got all kinds of stuff here uh, quick release mounts so this one would be if I was not even uh, using the phone gosh that doesn't even work quite right because there's no place to mount the phone on there, but this gives you an idea. It's a little uh, quick release, just kind of uh, put the stuff together however I could. So maybe you're talking to yourself, doing the selfie mode, doing uh, video of whatever, and then you want to flip it around to get video and audio wherever you want, and then flip it back. So that's pretty cool. And this one that's on here, let me unplug this to show you trying to drop this. So this is just actually a uh, Manfrotto quick release photo version and that's clamped onto a uh, little hot shoe, a very cold shoe, very high quality and uh, not like some of the ones I've seen. And then the uh, Rode microphone which has been working very well as long as both of the settings Ooh, look at that, we got a totally dead battery now Ooh. I thought I kept them both in the middle, but for some reason that light's not on now. We'll work on that. You know what, maybe it was all the way to the right. I'm still experimenting with this to get the best audio reports and whatnot. Well now it's on green with the middle. Both of them on the middle was perfect in my testing. But I'd like to hear what you think. So what we got here, whoops, this is a mini fatty. Ooh. It's a little tripod, or it's a little uh, light stand uh, variety, threaded, nut. I forget what they call them. I got a link on one of my other videos to uh, b &H that sells these. So here's a little fatty. Here's a bigger one. So I've been experimenting with those. Gosh, what did I do earlier? I took this guy and this guy. I'll show you real quick here what I did. Hopefully this audio is not too bad. God. So I put a Manfrotto ball head on this sucker. We'll loosen that. And what I got on here is a quick release also. And on that quick release, uh, what does it say? It says R-E-T-I cam. I think I got this at Jack's photo department in Loveland, Colorado. It holds an iPhone in a case, which is the beauty. And this fit in here great, but I couldn't figure out also, it started getting heavy. And you know, how far are you gonna go with that? So, this sucker does fit in there and it holds the iPhone 6 Plus in the case very nicely. So we got something like that with the, uh, and we'll just tighten this ball head up wherever you want it. And this was pretty slick, but it's getting heavy. So you got it like that. Boom. Boom. Not bad. It's not going to move. So well, that was a pretty slick setup, but now I'm going to have to find that other microphone in the receiver where you mount that on here with the little Sony one. It could work, right? 
Yeah, something like that. So that one worked pretty good for that though. Or the Sony wireless mic on there. But I need a way to mount this sucker on here. I got a dual tripod. I got some other ideas, but just an idea of something to experiment with here on the uh, Osmo. Also, I put on uh, some of the video ones. Have a few more options. So maybe you had one plugged in one side, and you can also plug in stuff on the other side of these video ones. There's assorted thread sizes in here, so you could even put the fatty in here twice, two of them. Look at that. So let's see. And also, these plates. Let's see. No, that's not going to work. We don't have threaded mounts on here. But you know what? We could do that. Because <laughs> I have one in a bag somewhere that's a uh, female. Whoops, female to female. So just messing around trying to get the uh, best options and also test video. And also, let's see what we got here. This is how the vehicle was mounted up. Oh, and look at this little booger on here. I'll show you this thing here. This is why I really liked it. See, uh, Manfrotto, super clamp on the bottom, articulating arm right here. Part number 244, awesome. I got two of those actually. So we'll take this thing off of here, just as a sample. You better be careful with this Osmo. It's kind of delicate. So we got that off. What the heck did we do here? I have this mounted to a ram mount in my vehicle, which I have uh, the other articulating arm. Ooh, this is the beauty. Except for this phone's on here. I'll see if I can show you how I had this rigged up in the truck here with the Osmo. So I did have that on there. And we'll quick release this one off of here. What did we have on here? I had a straight up quick release plate, didn't I? Yeah, look at that, one on the back, a double. We're double stacking them. We got the photo quick release plate and then we got a, a video quick release mount. So we'll put that on there. How in the heck did I have that? Yep, this is the one. Then the threaded nut here. Whoops. Put the fatty in there. That's right, this worked great why it worked great. I'll turn this. I had it sideways. So that's almost ready. But then I took one of these uh, cold shoe, the nice ones, metal, not that junky plastic stuff. Except that's the wrong one I had on here, but that's all right. Boom. We're almost there. We put the uh, road mic in here. But I got that on backwards. So that just makes it a little more difficult. Um, so imagine this is mounted in your vehicle in the mobile here on the uh, ram mount. And you can of course loosen this and move this however you want, turn it however you want. Plus we got a ball head so we can still do anything when we uh, lock it down into place. What do we got? Lastly, be careful with that road microphone. And a small thread, I don't know if this is 3 8 I think the fatty end is 3 8 I forget this, what the smaller end is, but they're all the same. Go like that. Boom. So it's tight there. What do we do? What do we do? We'll just rotate it a little bit like that. And then we're set. On Golden Pond right there. Then you just plug in your uh, road mic right in there. Then you're in the car. This was sweet. I did some more testing yesterday. What I did is I pointed this so it was right at me. So by default, if it was wherever, 
I'd just reach over and do the double tap and it would go back to selfie mode right on me driving from the passenger driver's seat. And then you're also able to get this uh, microphone pointed directly at you while you're driving. And that seemed to work well. And then you can pop all this off. Boom, say you're parked, you get out, the stuff's hitting the fan and you need to roll and uh, get outside the vehicle. You just pop it off like that and uh, you can keep on filming outside the vehicle. And uh, I'm experimenting with the Sony Bluetooth microphone. Been having a interesting time with that. So hopefully I'll get that worked out, but wanted to do a little test video on the mounting options with Manfrotto and other photographic uh, related stuff for the uh, DJI Osmo, which I'm testing here, uh, Shutter Mafia. And we'll check it out. I guess we'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more good videos, or I'll try to get better videos. And also, we got the. Uh, we'll do a little review on this. I uh, snugged it up today here. I saw another YouTube video. A guy had it. Uh, Such so should be much higher. So uh, this is the. Uh, what's the make on this Galco? This is the uh, Miami Classic, and my father gave this to me. And I really like it. And got the Walter PPK uh, S, not the Smith & Wesson. So that's it for now. Cut. Alright, we're hot. Look at this. Right after I shut off the camera, I figured out a way to get everything on here. And it is working and I'm testing it right now. Check this out. DJI Osmo, the one studded mount. Whoops, I'm gonna be brave and unplug that while it's hot. Look at this. So we got the Osmo, we got the uh, plate that was on the, uh, came with the, uh, I don't know where I got that, at Jack's. So, boy, I showed that to you before. Hopefully it was the thing that was on top of the, uh, articulating arm on the super clamp where there's a mount for a ball head and then there's a mount next to it on a sliding thing for the mic that works great so all I do is take that piece boom put it right in there and what's different about these the link I posted on B&H these were not notched you can see that very carefully. Hopefully it's probably out of focus because we're on F4 or something. But it keeps it from rotating. So when that slides in there, you can lock it. And it's not going to want to slide. So the only weird thing on this is... Yeah, you just got to make sure you miss your rigging on here while you're recording. There we go. So, not bad. It will miss the camera when you turn it. So I'm going to do a test and maybe I'll post this because I'm recording right now on this thing. Now we're on it in Zero WAR testing Shutter Mafia Studios. You can hold it up with one hand. But there is getting to be a, a little bit of weight on that sucker. So the microphone's on. You're not supposed to plug it in while it's recording, but I did anyway. And let's see if it works. It still does. So we're going to post that later, or you can hold it like this. Um, boy, I guess you could easily change the orientation of the mic. Like something like that. So then you could record it, control it just with the phone and have the uh, Osmo stay free like that. So some interesting options for uh, new stringing, whatever. I'll try to maybe post a little bit of the, you don't really need to see the video I did with it, but huh, very interesting setup. So again, I kind of showed you on the uh, previous thing, I'll stitch this all together here, um, of how I use the Manfrotto parts to uh, make up a rigging. For this and also in the uh, mobile so if I want to go on the mobile boom we're gonna figure it out oh actually yeah you just take it straight off plug this straight in boom you're in the mobile
hamstring and or storm chasing or whatever, recording a beautiful country and whatnot. So you can turn that back around so you can get good audio for uh, reporting, whatever. You use this at weddings. It'd be great rigging for weddings. Or you can keep everything on there, but you just kind of kind of hold it. Because if you go like that, boy, your arm's going to get tired. But you could very easily just control it with not even touching the Osmo at all. And I think that'd be even better. Let me test this. There we go. Yeah, you just record with your phone only, on, off, go to photo mode, whatever. So interesting setup for the uh, rigging. Definitely be useful for weddings and uh, whatever else. And the uh, Rode mic does do okay sitting sideways. It's not hitting at all. Boy, when this sucker's in the mobile, it sure moves around a lot. But uh, you can't hear that at all. So really digging the setup going through the Manfrotto parts here and uh, I think this one's going to work fine. So hopefully you can get a good look at that. Got a Manfrotto ball head. And the only interesting part is that one here. And you know what? While we're hot, I'm going to stop this and show you this up close here. So we're going to put that to sleep. That sleep mode works really good. I did receive two more batteries and another charger from DJI today in the mail from FedEx. Awesome. But uh, I'm still waiting on the universal clamp. So that's why I'm messing around with all this stuff is I don't have the universal mount that comes right out of it that's built for the uh, Osmo. We don't want to drop this one because that probably wouldn't be good. So we take that out. Yep, this was the uh, beauty of the whole, oh crap, that thing's coming apart. We're going to have to fix that in a minute. So while we're going, we're still going. Now we got it. I want to show you the whole piece with the base plate. So that's just a ball head only, quick release photo mount. And this one, I think, came with the articulating arm. Didn't it? Yeah, I bought a second one at Jax and it had this thing on it. And I think it came with the. I think I bought it as a set like this. Look on BH or whatever. You got the. Uh, Manfrotto Super Clamp. There's not a part number on here. There probably is somewhere. We've got the articulating arm. I got two of these. Part number 244. And then on the top of this thing, boy, they make this stuff so versatile. There's a nut right in there. So you could take one of your uh, thingies here. It's the fat one. And you could plug that in, and then you got a little thread. And then you could put lights whatever. So I keep a lot of this stuff around for uh, whatever. So that's the beauty of it. It goes right in there. This particular one does not keep it from going sideways. That's pretty dang tight though. I'm going to take that back off. And yeah, we got a couple of parts on here. So you can do a variety of things. This is a little uh, tripod, hot shoe thread, the small one. So you can adjust it, move it. And we got one of the uh, plates, round plates. I forget what they call them. I got several of these too. Very handy. So, boy, tons of options. You could go that way, that way, one upside down. Ooh, you know what, when we'll do that. That way our microphone will be on the bottom. And then the ball head will be on the top. And maybe you won't be able to see that thing. That's the only way to get this stuff is to uh, mess around with it. We'll just try that real quick. 
forget all the stuff we had on here, tons of stuff. So it didn't weigh too much, pretty good. Keep her nice and solid. So then we have that on the bottom camera over here. We're gonna mess with that later because there's tons of options and that gets pretty boring. But if I come up with something, I'll come back and uh, report.